हेलो वाइज वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज ओपी पॉइजनिंग दैट इज ऑर्गेन हॉस्पिट कंपाउंड पॉइजनिंग सो व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट आर आस्क इन योर एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग ओपी पॉइजनिंग दे विल आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन मैनिफेस्टेशंस एंड ट्रीटमेंट विच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ट्रीटमेंट सो वी विल गो वन बाय वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेशन इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन पॉइजनिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड Organophosphate compounds are easily available and extensively used as agricultural and home insecticides. Common organophosphate compounds are parathion, malathion, ecotheophate and diflos. So in case of organophosphate compound poisoning, uh, homicidal and suicidal cases are very common guys. Next is manifestations. There are two types of manifestations, local or immediate and complex or systemic manifestations. Local manifestations are irritation of eye, lacrimation and salivation, meiosis and blurring of vision. What is meiosis? It is decrease in size of pupil and uh, complex or systemic manifestation. These are more severe. Bronchospasm, breathlessness, colic, involuntary urination, decreased BP or bradycardia, muscle fasciculation, weakness, respiratory paralysis and death. In case, in these cases, death is mostly due to the respiratory muscle paralysis. Now treatment. Treatment includes two important parts: general principles and specific antidote. First of all, general principles. So, if patient with organophosphate poisoning came to OPD, what are the general measures we should follow? First of all, remove clothes. Then wash skin and mucous membrane with soap and water. Fresh air, gastric lavage until. the returning fluid is clear maintain airway positive pressure breathing if required maintain blood pressure diazepam to control convulsions this is most important point diazepam it is used to control convulsions in cases of organophosphate poisoning now next next is uh, specific antidote so in specific antidote we have two major drugs uh, first of all atropine it is drug of choice 2 mg intravenous repeated every 10 minute up to 200 mg in a day this is the dose of atropine it is highly effective it blocks muscarinic symptoms higher doses are required to antagonize the central effects this is important point it blocks muscarinic symptoms and it does not reverse the peripheral muscular paralysis because it is a nicotinic action so to block the peripheral muscular paralysis we have pralidoxine Uh, one to two gram intravenous slowly, and after that continuous infusion is uh, given till recovery. This is the dose of pralidoxine. It is one of the type of oxime, and it restores the neuromuscular transmission. It uh, NM means neuromuscular. Uh, it only it is only effective in cases of organophosphate poisoning and not in cases of carbamates. Uh, this is because of Uh, organophosphate compounds bind to esteratic site of acetylcholine esterase enzyme and uh, the carbamates they will bind to both the sites so there is no space for pralidoxine to act so next point is uh, pralidoxine causes dephosphorylation of phosphorylated choline esterase so important note here is it is very important note the treatment should be started as soon as possible before the phosphorylated enzyme undergo aging and becomes resistant to the hydrolysis so what what does it mean is uh, when organophosphate compounds binds to the acetylcholine esterase enzyme at the esteratic site it binds with covalent bond which is irreversible in nature and after some time this enzyme becomes resistant to hydrolysis and uh, undergo the phenomenon of aging so treatment should be uh, started as soon as possible before it undergo aging procedure okay so this is it thank you for watching and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel